Have you ever been in the middle of an important download only to accidentally stop it? It can be incredibly frustrating, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're going to tackle how to resume a Visual Studio 2017 installation that was intentionally stopped. I completely understand your concern. It's annoying when you think you've got everything set up only to find out that your download has stopped. You're definitely not alone in this situation. Many users face similar issues when downloading large software packages. Here's the specific situation we're addressing today. One user mentioned that they started downloading Visual Studio for offline installation using Layout Switch. They closed the console when the download was at 19.1 gigabytes, thinking it would resume later. But when they restarted it, it simply overwrote the previous files. Sound familiar? Let's dive into this and find a solution. So what's happening here? When you close the console during a download, it can interrupt the process, and sometimes the installer doesn't know to pick up where it left off. Instead, it may start fresh, which can lead to overwriting existing files. But don't worry, we can work through this together. And stick around. I have a helpful tip at the end that will ensure your future downloads go smoothly without interruptions. To resume the Visual Studio installation, the user should first navigate to the folder where the previous installation files are located. This is important because the installer needs to access those files to continue the download. Next, the user should open a command prompt in that folder. This can be done by holding down the Shift key and right-clicking in the folder, then selecting Open Command Window here or Open PowerShell Window here. Now, the user needs to run the Visual Studio installer again. They should use the same command they used previously, ensuring they include the layout switch to continue the download. After running the installer, the user should see a message indicating that it is resuming the download. This means the installer is recognizing the existing files and will continue downloading the remaining components. Finally, once the download is complete, the user can proceed with the installation. They should follow the on-screen prompts to finish setting up Visual Studio. Fun fact, did you know that the first version of Visual Studio was released back in 1997? It has come a long way since then, but even the best software can have its hiccups. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user suggests that you can resume the offline installation of Visual Studio 2017. The latest installer checks the existing files in the directory and continues the download from where it left off. They also recommend providing torrent links for the Visual Studio Community Edition, as this method is more reliable for large files. Here's the tip I promised. Always ensure you have a stable internet connection and avoid closing the console during large downloads. This simple habit can save you a lot of time and frustration. And there you have it. You should now be able to resume your Visual Studio installation without any issues. Remember, keeping the console open is key. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more tips and don't miss our next video where we share more troubleshooting hacks.